Chatter and today we are heading to Colorado for a little camping trip. I'm right here in the back and my parents in the front and it's going to be a very, very long journey. So, let's share it with you. In Amarillo, heading to Colorado. Can't wait. So we're here in Colorado, we finally picked a spot, we've been searching for quite a while now, we haven't, we've had some difficulties finding the right spot, but since it's been a long day, just eating peanut butter jelly sandwich, yes with strawberry jelly. Hey guys, Cam here from Outdoor Chatter. So, I'm here in Twin Lakes, Colorado. This is where we spent the night last night. Have an amazing view. And we're gonna be looking around for another spot to camp out tonight. Um, yeah, so. It's really beautiful out here. First time in Colorado, already snow, which is one of my wishes that I had coming to Colorado. And so we're gonna go over the Independence Pass today and um, we might go see the Royal Gorge, I think. So, yeah. Alright, let's 
really hard to breathe but it's worth it. Check this view out. It is amazing. So we're here at the Royal Gorge and we're about to cross the bridge to look at the canyon. Can't wait. We're here in, in Colorado at the Royal Gorge. Today, it's cloudy with a chance of rain. Hey guys, we're here in Colorado. We finally found a spot for tonight. So this is going to be where we are camping. This is public land and we're going to set our tent up and we're going to have a great time tonight. So can't wait.
So, this is my air mattress. I'm going to be sleeping on this. It has a pillow, but I am going to put another pillow on it to make it more comfortable. And this is just to where I can sleep comfortably and not be on rocks and not feel those. So, I love my trusty, my trusty mattress. So we found this aspen tree, we shaved it off, and we're going to make this into a pole to hold our lantern. So I'm going to make this part a tip so it can go into the ground. Hey. So, I just went wading around here with my net to catch crawfish. Well, we found one. We poked him under the front and we caught him through the backside and then lift it up. And we're going to do this tomorrow morning also. Ooh, he's moving too much. Hey, you, stop getting comfortable. Right behind the arms. Right there? Right there. Oh, I got him! <laughs> He can't reach you. He can't reach you. Good morning, everyone. Last night report. Well, warm, very warm, and um, was.
wasn't much sleep going on for me. Dad snoring, mother snoring, wind, rattling. It was wild. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was pretty good. I like the spot. So, and there's a creek down there, but I'm going to go down there in a minute to get crawfish and do all sorts of stuff like that. And we're just going to stay around here. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to go crawfish catching right here at the creek. And I have two tools I'm going to use. I have my net and I have a fire poker, but I'm using it at, to flip rocks and to poke the crawfish. Since crawfish jump backwards, what you do is you take the net, put it behind it, and poke it in the front so it can go into the net. And then you can catch them and then you can put them in a pot or anything like that. So, let's go fishing. Oh man! Got him! Ha! Yeah! Ooh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. Jump up right here! It's not that big, but they'll do. Now I'm about to put this in my bush pot. We already have some in here from this morning. If we catch enough, we might have a crawfish boil. Dump them in there. We have quite a few. Got to put water in it to make sure they'll live. I think you boiled them alive. <laughs> Oh man! Gotta get up here. There he goes. He's moving towards. I did that earlier. I'll dump him on the ground and then do it. Oh my! He's huge. He's a big one. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, you! Whoa! He's... Ah! Not that far back. You gotta get closer to his arm. No, get he's... him before he gets in the water. Big. He's pitching a fit. He's not happy. Well, in the water you go. Ha <laughs> oh. They're fighting over there. Small ones, big ones, some as big as your head. <laughs> not a true statement, but. Okay. Well, you should fall in on purpose now. Him. I don't see him. Oh, Got him. Ah. Making a mess. He's big though. That one. Woo. Walk back over here. 
a lot of rock, but what will do? <laughs> it's hard to see him. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I went crawfish catching. I got a lot. Um, I'm only going to keep the big ones to cook. The small ones I'm going to put back in the creek so others can have fun too. But um, yeah, it's really, in I really enjoyed this. Yeah. It took a long time. Help me, help me. We don't have very many big ones. Oh. I'll say he's big enough. Come on. Crawl on. Come on. There you go. Let go. Drop it. to end a trip than to have truck trouble. And lucky enough, we have a friend that lives here in Colorado. Hello. I was just on the field and, and I got a phone call and I came to help these folks. Man, oh man, just call us. Call Spectres anytime. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Let's boil these. All right, you're on, you're it, you're lit, you're lit. Don't set high. You don't need that high at all. This is how they'll go. Turn this water oil over. Whoa, that's leaning. Here we go. We're gonna boil this water and then put the crawfish in. At first. Might help to get some out. A lot. A lot. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
use all of it. Now I'm doing garlic powder. That's what that is. Okay, we have our water boiling and they're ready to go in. Creatures. Ah, ah! He's heading out. He's heading out. Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh, there's four. Hold on. Uh, uh, rinse it all. He's trying to get under there. No, sir. You gonna turn over, mister? Turn the best hand. Now we gotta rinse them off. I did. There we go. Now, let's try this again. Ooh, they look good. Go with your buds. It's supper time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this smells so good. Yo, booty. In there. Go, 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 go. In, in, in. No, 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 no. Bad boy. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Yep, he's just gonna stay there. Go 
this one. Grab his tail. Twist it. Good. Okay, so now that we're done with all our crawfish, we're going to bury it so or far away from camp so no predators can come into camp and go hunting. So I'm gonna dig a hole here. No one ever knows. Hey guys, I'm heading home and I'm so glad y'all could join me for my trip to Colorado. It was so gorgeous up there. I I enjoyed it so much. Um, stay tuned for the end of the video. I will have an interview and if you want to ask me different questions, you can put that in the comments below and then I will try to answer them uh, as soon as I can. So I'm super glad y'all could come with me and yeah, I'll, I guess I'll chat with you in a few minutes. trip was probably the scenery, especially at Twin Lakes and feeling and looking at all the snow and stuff like that. It was really pretty. The landscape that I preferred the most was probably the view at Twin Lakes because there were so much more trees than at Phantom Canyon and I loved the view with the snow caps. It was gorgeous. And plus at Phantom Canyon, there were no trees to hang a hammock, so that was kind of upsetting. So, yeah, it was fun. The thing that I learned while I was on my trip was the road by our second camp spot in Phantom Canyon used to be a railroad track used by miners to transport different things to Victor and get it all sorted out, which was really interesting to learn. So, yeah.
thing I enjoyed doing the most while I was camping was probably fishing for crawfish at our second location. That's really fun, even though we didn't eat all of them. It's, it's fun even if you have to throw them back. So that's a good thing y'all could do while y'all are out camping. Y'all are by a creek, so. The thing I needed but didn't have was water shoes. Water shoes would have made crawfish catching so much easier than it was. I was walking on so many rocks and it just hurt my feet so badly. I needed water shoes. I was supposed back then, but I didn't. I really regret that. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the thing I needed. enjoyed having y'all go on this journey with me and it I hope y'all enjoyed it just as much as I did so I guess I'll chat with you later bye